Hi, so in this video I'm going to take you really slowly through the process of how to create a magic ring in crochet. Magic rings are really good if you want to create an amigurumi project and work in the round in a sphere for example like this that's created by a magic ring. And magic ring is a very simple technique, it just takes some good, some getting used to. So I'm going to take you really slowly through the process and try and um, keep you alert to like where to hold, hold the yarn, how to hold the yarn as you're doing the magic ring so that you can do this like as successfully as you can the first time. So now I'm going to show you how to hold the yarn. So firstly you're going to hold it like this and you're going to wrap it around just those two fingers. Have the yarn like this. Pick this bit of loop up Bring it back over that thread and just very gently lift. Hold the loop like this and then bring your, your yarn up so that you're ready to crochet and then swap the loop over so you're holding it like this. So now you're ready to crochet into this loop. Okay, so chain one to anchor the magic ring. So now we're going to be double crocheting into the loop depending on how many your pattern requires you to double crochet um, but for the purposes of this tutorial I'm going to do eight. So you're going into the loop, just going to untwist that so you can see that it is very much a loop, see? Put your hook in as normal, there's one double crochet two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then to secure the ring and to do the magic part, hold the yarn like this, hold the work like that. Then you're going to take the short end and you're going to pull it very gently and it's going to close that gap. Now at the end you might need to pull it a little bit less gently than before. But as you can now see there is barely any gap there. So if your pattern now told you to then two double crochet into each stitch in the round, you would then insert your hook into the top of that stitch and then you would follow the pattern around. And then you'd work in a spiral So you can see why the magic ring is such a useful technique to do because it does create a really secure start with no gaps. That's perfect for toys and other kinds of projects. So I'm just going to do this last two double crochet into this stitch and then I'm going to finish the tutorial there.